On any Monday night, this Decatur music venue packs in more musicians than any other. $23 And though they're about to take the stage, the musicians also have to pay the $3 cover charge. Nobody gets in free at open mic night. Y'all welcome to Eddie's Attic. Welcome to open mic. We do this every Monday starting at 8 and running through 11.20. The bar owner, Eddie Owen, runs the show. Y'all please welcome Jeremy Lyons. Right. <laughs> And for three and a half hours, Take a, trip to the other side, yeah. a succession of guitar-wielding men and women take to the stage and compete for a $60 prize at the end of the night. And you're the only one I dream of. It's open to anyone, whether they're a touring musician or whether they're someone that's never been on stage before. Matters not. It's open to the first 20 acts that sign up. Maybe write a song about you too. But it hurts too bad to try right now. Well, it hurts too bad to try. Her face is pale, but it is not to her. It's all business for the competitors. There are rehearsals hours beforehand. Right under the sun, I, 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 I seem to fly away into the and more than a little stage fright in a room that is more crowded with open mic competitors than curiosity-seeking customers. Yeah, I was very nervous because uh, I have a very loud voice, you know, and uh, I haven't sang with a microphone in about 10 years, and it's like, when I was looking at it, I felt like it was cross-eyed. It was like, <laughs> it looked like it was so huge, you know? This is a song called Testimony, and it's about uh, how I found everything that I was ever looking for in all truth. There are fledgling songwriters with a sometimes startling serious-mindedness. I don't know just how to feel I've yet to come to terms with what is real I don't know, did I know, I don't know And the talent on stage can be downright unpredictable. I don't know just what to say We'll have four or five hopefully, really good acts, and then we'll have four or five acts that can become really good acts. See a perfect world in your mind, all around our troubled time. And then we'll have four or five acts that just, God bless them, they're just here because they have a great hobby. <laughs> I'm only half the act. There's supposed to be another guy that sings with me. And though one braces for something off-key, on this night, the talent was a pleasant surprise. Bid me sing like I was free inside these shackles, and you bid me to dance while bound in these chains. That's nice, you know, if you can, you know, take the 60 bucks home at the end of the night, of course that's nice, but... There's just such a network of musicians around the whole southeast who come here and it's really nice to get to know them. Um, and we can kind of feed off of each other's experience. There's more than a $60 prize at stake. This duo from Washington, D.C. also won a paying gig at Eddie's Attic. And a career move evolves from what started out as a nervous evening before a small crowd on a Monday night. Ain't nobody's business but their own. Thank you. Imagine that. Two girls with acoustic guitars. <laughs> Y'all welcome.